Can you just tell us a little bit about how, how this hut came about? Uh, I was commissioned to design a beach hut uh, by folks in Tranial and I started off with the idea that there is no uh, English Baroque seaside architecture and so I had to fill a gap in this historical market and <clears throat> there's not even a Baroque lighthouse. There's nothing early 18th century that's naval in that way. Um, and so I started to design as if I were Nicholas Hawksmore, uh, early 18th century English architect. And, um, and I came up with a beach hut in the form of a lighthouse in the style of Nicholas Hawksmore. Uh, so it's, it's, it doesn't function as a lighthouse. It also doesn't function as a beach hut. It is a, it's a sculpture that represents these various layers of history. Um, you've worked with Nicholas Hawksmore before. Uh, I, I, I always look at uh, English 18th century architects. There's, there's a lot of Nicholas Hawksmore in this. There's also a lot of um, Sir John Soane in this. Um, but there is um, also a good dose of English postmodern architecture. Terry Farrell, James Sterling, you know, uh, it, it, there's, there's evocations of the MI5 building on the Thames or of the uh, Charing Cross Station. There's details that I've borrowed from uh, architects from the 1980s as well. Co the colour grey is a, a, a very, very, it's almost like a cartoon stone colour. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it's the opposite of the kind of um, feel-good Blairite colours that the, um, the, 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 the beach architecture has been sort of painted with. It, it's it's a, a, a funereal Gothic monument that functions a little bit like a church might do in a street. Um, it's, it says stone with capital S. There's a lot of um, internal structure that, um, that is there to support this because uh, the structure has to survive for six years as is um, in punishing winds and rain uh, through winter and so inside there's a sort of a web of metal essentially. So it's not actually stone at all? No, the, the exterior is wood uh, and the interior is metal. And can you go inside? The, the, <clears throat> the structure has no public access um, for various reasons. One is that it's a sculpture uh, so looking at it is how you deal with it um, but uh, and also how it works with other structures around it is is part of the meaning of the work but you also can't go in it because to get a fully public accessible structure like this would cost a bucket load of money so it's 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 a sham it's a facade it's a it's a prop and have you had the experience of living in one of the beach huts whilst you've been working on it I hate beach huts. <laughs> I, I think I don't really like people that have beach huts. <laughs> I live by the sea, but in a proper house with, you know, nice windows. I mean, why, why have a place with no windows? So maybe that's part of the reason why you've made it look rather funereal as well. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs>